And do that, welcome to another edition of Cook and Roll with the Duke, hosted by y'all truly, T-Bone, Tweaky Duke, Mama Duke, aka The Duke. Today we're literally dusting off the old pochi pot. <clears throat> we're gonna make a little Frisco and Guinness pochi meal. <laughs> oh yeah, it's just out! Okay, we gotta get our pochi chopping party started. We start off with the caveman knife I got over here, the Serbian black, which with, with, is one big chopper. <laughs> some mighty fingers, people. We start off by roughly chopping up some onions. We're gonna put a little to the side for something a little special for my wife. And now, boom, 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 time for the start of today's show, the roll brisket joint. Now, you may notice that this is Looks a little different to your traditional Texas style brisket, but this is out here in South Guinea. They like to roll them up and uh, we just unroll them and chop them into little cubes like so. Now people, I got a little secret to uh, uh, admit that uh, I'm running kind of late here. I promised my wife I'd do a couple of things. So uh, I got a fire going and I'm chopping up like crazy and uh, the fire's not even ready yet for me to add to the pot, but Never mind, and be careful with those fingers if you're cutting in a hurry. <laughs> All right, we're ready for the pot. There she goes. Now, I know that fire ain't completely lit yet, but let's add some oil and get her hot in the meanwhile. Okay, we're looking good. I'm going to throw down some our chopped onions and a whole bunch of garlic, pretty much the whole bulb, I think. Yeah, no, ain't going to even bother peeling her. Yeah, that's looking good. And introduce the start of the show to the start of the show. The meat to the pot. The pot to the meat, meat pochi. A little bit of... Bacons? <laughs> what dish does not benefit from having the bacon added to it? Okay, so we added a little seasoning, salt and pepper, stir it up, and now we're browning off our meat. You can brown her off with the onion in or without. I'm just going to onions today. Now time to take a leak. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're chopping up leeks. Now I'm going to add this little bit to my, uh, my side project over here for the wife. The non-meat pachi. And these were me. Now this leek is gonna add beautiful flavor, beautiful buttery, vegetable-y flavor to our pot. I my favorite thing in a pachi pot is a leek. Besides the meat. <laughs> okay, add a little tin tomato. That's looking good. Dried oregano herb. Let's throw in a little paprika. <laughs> yeah. And of course, there's another star today show, the black stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is it time for a drink yet? Add a whole tin of Guinness. I got a four pack, so uh, let's see how we get on. You know what? I'm going to add another half a, half a can in there. The other half can go on my side project. I'm going to add a little beef stock. Oh, yeah. And a glug of leftover wine. <laughs> leftover wine? <laughs> okay, if you say so. I've never seen it. Anyway, give it a little stir. Now, I know you're not to stir the pochi pot. It's tradition. Don't stir it. But there's another little thing I heard. Well, legend has it that if you say pochi in the mirror three times, something crazy happens. Should we try? Pochi. 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 <laughs> Maybe I weren't saying it right. Who knows? Anyway, time to chop up some carrots. Now this is my third favorite thing going in the pachi pot. Big, thick chunks of carrot. Mm-hmm. In they go. Oh, we're looking good. Look at that. It's like a witch's cauldron. There is some kind of black magic going on here today after all. Here we go. Gently. Closer up. <laughs> we're looking good. That, ain't that a beautiful thing? Now, it's been threatening to rain all dang day, and I promised my wife I'd hang out the washing for her. The minute I hung it out, it starts dang raining! <laughs> so I gotta bring it in! <laughs> Maybe saying that stuff in the mirror gave me bad luck. Never mind, and back to our pot! And my daughter's got a little message for you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yeah. <laughs> she made daddy so proud. Anyway, we're about three hours in now, and it's time to add our potatoes. Now we got these little kind of new small potato things. We're going to just chop them into half about that size, and we're going to add them to our pot now. We're looking good. In they go. Mushrooms also. Make sure everybody's sitting correct. <laughs> Close her up. 
And now we're about four hours down, people. Let's have a little look where we're at. No, we need to have a little sneak peek. Four hour sneak peek. And <laughs> if the meat's looking good, we can have a beer. Oh, it's looking good. We can have a beer. Because <laughs> <laughs> I... Can I resist his charms while it settles? Come on, baby. Delicious. Nearly five hours down and even Tomcat Cruz knows it's time to party. Let's get this Pachi party started. Oh, look at that, people. Oh, man, this is Pachi, Briscoe, Shazam, this. Now, which one you having? The vegan pot for my wife or uh, what for yours truly? <laughs> I know which one I'm having. Shazam. We're going to slice up a little tiger bread for donkey purposes. Oh, man, this is so good. It's going to be so good. The beef. The Guinness, the potatoes, the pachi. Oh man, look at that. Oh, I'm just gonna dive on in. Oh, yes I am. Look at this. It's so tender. Can we have a little tender test? Let's have a look. Oh, yes I am. Well, that's just about all we got time for. Thank you very much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Yes I am. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, people, or say hello and leave a little comment or give her a like or a share. Shazam!